You're watching Farm Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and repair a service suspension system message in a General Motors Z55 equipped truck or SUV. Now I have another video that goes into depth on how to diagnose and repair these suspension systems without using any special tools whatsoever. And I'm gonna post a link to that video in the video description down below. And possibly there might be a little button you can touch somewhere up here. But uh, what I found is that video, while I attempted to pretty much cover everything I possibly could without using special tools, there are two situations that sometimes arise. One of those is that the suspension system uh, error code is there and you just don't have leaking air shocks, your air compressor's working, everything seems like it's working fine and that video just doesn't help you whatsoever in that situation and that's what we have here today with this Yukon. Now the other situation uh, is that somebody who's not very mechanically inclined may find that video a little too uh, difficult. Uh, to go through all the different diagnosis procedures and all of that and so that's another spot where this video may help someone like this because we're going to take the easy route today and we're going to diagnose this the same way a dealer does using a tech 2 this my friends is a tech 2 and it works on all general motors vehicles up to model year 2013 and I'm gonna go ahead and just let you know that this is not a real deal Tech 2. This is actually a Chinese knockoff. Uh, real ones of these can cost, you know, upwards of $1,500 to $2,000 nowadays. They used to be even more expensive than that. This Chinese knockoff Tech 2 only costs a few hundred dollars. And I'm gonna post a link uh, in my video description to where you too can also buy one of these. Now there is a little bit of a learning curve to using one of these and uh, I'm gonna go step by step today. That way uh, you won't have to deal with that. What you're gonna need to be able to use this on your General Motors vehicle is a candy controller. And this comes with it, no worries. It comes with your Tech 2. Uh, this adapter right here, this is your OBD2 port adapter. These also work on OBD1 cars, so that's why these are uh, able to be changed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click that in there. And then this is the wire that hooks your candy controller to the Tech 2. And so we're gonna plug it in. Now I just plug this into the OBD2 port on the trucker SUV. And I'm gonna turn the key on to the car, but I'm not gonna start the car. Up. Hit the power button. We've got system initializing. Press enter to continue. Now we want to go into diagnostics, so I'm just going to press enter. The model year of this vehicle is 2013. You pick yours. And then because this is an SUV, we're gonna consider this a light duty truck. This one's GMC. It's asking for the product line. The product line is actually found in the VIN number. If you're working on a car, it is the fourth digit. On a truck or SUV, it's going to be the fifth digit. So your VIN number is gonna be found on your driver's side door on um, most of your vehicles and my fifth digit is a two so i'm going to enter two this is a yukon xl click on that now we want to go into chassis because that's where your suspension system is it's asking for whether or not you have a trailer brake uh, it 
isn't going to affect it either way as far as these diagnostics go. So if you don't know, just pick one. I happen to know that this truck does have a trailer brake. Although, when I, and I should just go ahead and give a little FYI. These Tech 2s have always been sort of a clunky system, uh, sort of a uh, disconnect sometimes between the technicians working on the vehicles and the software developers who came up with this old software. Uh, this is a 6.2 liter Denali, and for some reason it doesn't have the engine type code in there for it. But again, we're working on the suspension system, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to go down here and click for the heck of it, L96, but it's not going to affect anything. And this SUV, I'm pretty sure it's under 8 the 600 gross vehicle weight. And we do not have RPO Z95. We have Z55, so I'm clicking without there. Uh, here, uh, whenever there's a button up here on a Tech 2 that's illuminated, you have to use one of these buttons to click on it. So I'm going to click right there for continue. Now we want to go into electronic suspension control. And let's see what our diagnostic trouble codes are. So right now it's reading them. We're present. And again, I'm going to go right up here and click view all DTCs. And there we have it. Electronic suspension control, CO590, symptom 04, right rear actuator circuit open. Now the right rear actuator is actually integral to the shock absorbers. Now what it's referring to is actually the damper solenoid valves inside the shock absorber. And it means that there's an electrical issue of some sort. And uh, normally it's recommended that you just go ahead and replace your shock absorbers. So if by any chance you wanna know how to replace your shock absorbers, go ahead and click this link and it should take you to a video where I show you step by step how to do it. I hope this video helped you. If it did, would you mind helping me by clicking the subscribe button? We are a family of six trying to make a life on 90 acres in the Washita Mountains of Arkansas. And every time someone hits that subscribe button, it helps grow our channel and make this life possible for us. We appreciate you.